Item number, SCP-801. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. All iterations of SCP-801 are to be kept in a metal locker on Foundation grounds. Access to SCP-801 for testing purposes is granted to any personnel level 2 and above. All articles of SCP-801 should be dry cleaned after testing. No further containment procedures, aside from standard security, are required. Description SCP-801 is a collection of seven articles of fur clothing found inside a hunting lodge in the Adirondack Mountains. Attempts to trace the owner of the lodge were unsuccessful, though locals insisted that they had seen lights and heard gunshots in the area until recently. Foundation personnel discovered no further evidence of recent occupation. SCP-801 includes one mink fur coat, SCP-801-1, one raccoon fur coat, SCP-801-2, one wolf fur coat, SCP-801-3, one squirrel fur coat, SCP-801-4, one sable fur coat, SCP-801-5. Each coat is of a full body length and includes a hood. Coats are lined with the same black silk, and none show any tag or washing instructions, despite appearing to be machine assembled. Accompanying the coats are one pair of rabbit skin mittens, SCP-8016, one pair of elk skin shoes, SCP-8017, gloves are lined in silk, shoes in leather. As with the coats, both appear machine assembled and bear no tags or marks of ownership. The Foundation was called to the site after numerous reports of repeated anomalous animal attacks in the area. Animals were reported to be unusually close to human dwellings, and to be abnormally aggressive considering the species involved. Likewise, behavior after captivity was not consistent with the norm. Data expunged. Personnel found SCP-801 lying on the floor of the lodge, along with numerous other sets of normal articles of clothing. Donning any article of SCP-801 begins a rapid change in the wearer. Subject begins by doubling over in pain as internal changes start, described variously as excruciating, burning, and, like my organs are liquefying and data expunged. Subjects soon, within two minutes, lose both coherent speech and the ability to stand upright. Subjects' vocalizations begin to become less human and more animal as external changes become apparent according to which article of clothing is worn. Although subjects may manage to remove the clothing before this stage, no halt in the process takes place. Characteristic is the lengthening of the front of the face into a snout, or muzzle, lengthening of the arch of the foot, and of the tailbone. Three minutes into the transition, subject demonstrates signs of extreme pain and fatigue. At this stage, Subject begins prodigious vomiting, apparently shedding excess mass and tissue unneeded for the new form. What mass cannot be expelled in this manner enters into an advanced state of cellular deterioration and falls away from the main body. At minute five, the subject resembles its new form almost entirely. Extreme hair growth begins over the body, apparently interfering with the subject's upper dermal layers and resulting in expelling much blood from the body, along with the newly grown hair. Upon completion of transition, subject will be extremely fatigued, but not docile, and care should be taken when caging or terminating test subjects. All subjects thus far have shown extreme and relentless aggression and resistance to pain. When caged and lacking an exterior target, Subjects will bite and scratch themselves, far past the point of bleeding. One raccoon transitioned D-Class was found to have gnawed through the contents of its own stomach, while another subject, Data Expunged. It is recommended that all subjects be terminated following testing and examination. 
Addendum. Testing the coats on non-human species has yielded mixed results. Placing an ordinary animal inside a coat made from its own species, i.e. placing a raccoon inside SCP-8012, or placing the same subject in the same coat twice, has no effect. However, when placing ordinary animals, or sedated transitioned subjects, inside a coat made from a different animal, results in subject transitioning normally for the first three minutes before aborting. Resultant subjects are often missing fur or limbs, or otherwise have limbs partially transitioned. In addition, once mass purge has started, subjects may have organs and are unable to support life functions. Most subjects do not live through this process. Addendum 2. Attempting to transition a subject wearing multiple articles, such as SCP-8011 and SCP-8016 and or SCP-8017, functions similarly to putting one species inside a non-coincident coat. However, in this case, the transition stops earlier, leaving the subject at least partially conscious, but with partially transitioned limbs, data expunged, etc. As these subjected have exhibited the same violent tendencies as those fully transitioned, it is recommended they be terminated immediately. No attempt at communication should be made. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-800, An Eastern History, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.